Hello everyone, my name is Rob, I'm from the Insane Gamers, and this is part 4 of Halo 3. Uh, so this is part 2 of Sierra 117, that's the first level in the game, technically, it's the first playable level. And this part of the level is called Charlie Foxtrot. Which is, obviously, the phonetic alphabet. Don't know if it's the, uh, the NATO or the LAPD one, though. Can't remember. There, there are differences. It's actually really weird to see this without audio because um, I have headphones plugged in and they're not on my head, so I just can't hear it. It's, it's really weird. Um, so I have no idea if I'm talking over like the Arbiter or Marines or anything, but you know, it doesn't really matter. This is like um, my my tip: use grenades in in Halo. I, I think I always say this, but grenades are your best friend, especially if you uh if you have sticky ones with the brutes here because they will just die immediately pretty much although there is a, a no, an annoying part of it apparently I can't speak but an annoying part of the lesson uh, uh, lesson? why did I get a lesson from? Uh, level annoying part of the level uh, coming up later here's my local gun. sticky grenade him and he just blows up or plasma grenade whatever you want to say now it does of course um Brutes can easily damage your health with the the blue uh, the brute. I can't speak apparently. The 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 brute. Uh, what's it? The brute shot. The sticky grenade. All of those brutes are, and everyone is dead. Yeah, I don't like this jungle part here because this. I, I was gonna try and show you guys the, the monkey Easter egg. Uh, if you did not know about it, um, I, I don't know how you haven't, yet, like how you don't know about the uh, the monkey Easter egg um, by now, by the time this comes out. Uh, but it's it's up there. But unfortunately, I can't show you. And you know these jackals with uh, beam rifles. I think I think they're beam rifles. Just constantly shooting. It's kind of annoying. I'm glad I got this one here before he killed me. Come on, you dumb apes. And uh, of course, Johnson has been kidnapped now. If you can't tell, um, I have no idea. I just heard like marine audio for some reason through the headphones that are not on my head. That are just on that are next to me. So I just it sounded like a marine. And I think I talked over previously when Johnson was like, I've been kidnapped. Well, not kidnapped. Yeah, kidnapped is the right word, right? Captured. No, that's, that's it. Annoyingly, I did run out of ammo for the, uh, the assault rifle. The SMG in this game I don't think is as good as it is in Halo 2. And we're going to carefully aim here at that uh, jackal in the uh, tree. There we go! Oh, there. And he falls out. <laughs> Just brilliant. I don't know what that noise was, even if the microphone picked it up. It was a weird popping noise. Strange. I can see kind of the end of the episode coming up. Um, so we're going to rescue Johnson from a brood compound in the fur part. And uh, I think last episode I said that Gary's mug will be tomorrow and need speed was yesterday. Unfortunately, I did swap that around. I didn't have time to record the need for speed video. So I just, because the Gary's mod video was already on Chris's channel and I said it was going up this week, I just took it and re-uploaded re it which we're supposed to do anyway. Chris has a two uh, day window of exclusivity on the content. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, that'll be part three of this level, part five of Halo 3. Um, so yeah, I've been Rob, I've been from the Gamers. Thank you very much for watching, and ta -ra.